During my six days in North Korea, I didn't see a whole lot of color, unless you count the propaganda posters. We visited in the winter, when buildings often go unheated. In this school, it's so cold in the classroom, you could see their breath. Even today, top leaders like Kim Jong-un and his generals often wear overcoats indoors. Why the hardships? Because so much of their limited money goes to the military. According to the CIA, North Korea industry is crippled, and there are chronic food shortages. Basically, it's like a starving country. It's overall always there looking for, where are better food, where are something to eat to fill my stomach. Starvation reportedly killed up to 2 million people in the 1990s. This 24-year-old defected from North Korea six years ago. You can see dead people everywhere on the street. In this satellite photo, South Korea is blazing with lights at night. But North Korea is pitch black except for the capital. That capital, Pyongyang, is the home of top government officials with good salaries and impressive offices. We're on top of the world's tallest stone tower here overlooking Pyongyang. It really is majestic to see what's going on. You see the river, you see the uh, bitter cold, f freezing snow. The, uh, the buildings are, are really impressive to see what's going on here in the North Korean capital. But one thing we noticed, not a lot of people with cars. There's not a whole lot of traffic here. Uh, it's icy. The streets are icy. It's snowy. You see a lot of people shoveling. Uh, and there you see the hammer and sickle uh, of this uh, communist government uh, manifestations of uh, the communist philosophy. The subway is clean and orderly, although the lights don't always stay on. It's very deep underground. It doubles as a bomb shelter. And it's filled with propaganda pictures and even patriotic music. All right, we're moving now. It's pretty smooth. In spite of all the propaganda, analysts say, the population may be getting other glimpses of the world. And young generation somehow very skillfully adapting using the intranet, internet, gaining the momentum and then finding the information. And they finally asking, North Korea is not paradise on Earth. It's actually hell on Earth. But why are we living like this?